Hi guys, uh, very good afternoon to you. Uh, so in this video, we'll uh, try to answer um, a question which is actually uh, shared by one of our uh, subscribers. Uh, uh, he's uh, Surinder and he's writing in. Uh, well, this is his uh, second email, uh, you know, uh, since last week, and I've already actually rewarded him on the first email. Go and check that video uh, and. Uh, this is another vid, uh, email which he has written and he says that uh, Hi Ajay, I hope you are doing great. Uh, yes, thank you so much. I have received a text file from one of my friends and uh, it contains very complex text formula. Alright. Can you please make all the subscribers understand how these are working? I understand it is going to take much of your time. Alright. Well, uh, I downloaded this workbook and I saw that uh, this, these are the formulas actually which are created. Uh, so surrender, uh, the formulas are not actually complex, but yes, from the advanced uh, level, a person who knows advanced Excel very well, and um, I mean, he can build these formulas quite easily. But I must say that the logics uh, behind these functions are very, very beautiful, very nice. Uh, so thank you so much for this uh, sharing, uh, you know, this uh, fabulous uh, formula, not just one formula, but you have so many formulas here. And uh, today is Friday, which is my favorite day, and uh, I always, you know, uh, wait for Friday because Saturday, Sunday are the like, you know, the party days. So your actually this email has made my Friday, you know, even more awesome. Thank you. Uh, so guys, uh, all of you, uh, my dear subscribers and people who are watching it for the first time, this is what actually uh, he has shared with us. And now this is the formula which is developed. What exactly it is doing is. It is actually extracting the numbers as you can see here. Here it is extracting the number and here it is actually, uh, you know, giving us the text. So if I write here, let's say Ajay and I write here this number, you see that I'll get here 6765 and I'll get here Ajay. So I'll explain you this, uh, you know, the formula and then he has developed this again, a, a different formula where, uh, you have different names with spaces and I guess the second name after the first one uh, is actually d getting displayed here. So if I write here Ajay, I'll not get anything because there is no second name. But if I write here Ajay Parmar, you'll get here Parmar, right? So there are a number of ways of doing this, but I guess these are the very beautiful design formulas. And uh, so definitely we'll go ahead and share these, uh, um, I mean we'll discuss these formulas. And uh, then thereafter, here also you can see here, uh, this is the formula which is developed. So, in this formula, what is happening is you're getting uh, these, uh, you know, the values after the first space, like Lincoln after space, we have Allen 4, 4 SY, so it is coming out. So, we are extracting all the numbers after the first space. This is what I believe. Um, I guess if I write here Ajay Parmar and then they let's say SSS triple S. It will give me the all the you know text after the first space. So we'll understand this as well. Uh, what exactly is happening here? And uh, the formula which I really found very uh, nice is this one. And I think uh, uh, you know each of you, uh, if you, uh, I wish I could share this file with you, but definitely, I mean, I'm going to actually uh, solve all these puzzles one by one for you guys. So. I think this is the most, uh, I would say, uh, a very, you know, nicely built formula with great, you know, reasoning and the logics built in. And uh, so what is happening is here, uh, you have a different uh, values as you can see in the email ID. Okay, so in this case, for example, you have email ID, but before the email ID, you have many entries after the space. And similarly, uh, after this email ID, there is nothing. But if you come down, you see that in this email ID, there is no actually text after or before. But in this case, you have a lot of text. You have ABC how many times? Like, I mean, four times and then one, two, three. And after even the email ID, you have a text which is called XBC. So the data is actually very inconsistent. Had it been, you know, some sort of a data where you have like email IDs and thereafter some text or maybe before some text and then email ID, then we would have done it by using, uh, you know, functions like mid, left, uh, 
and you know uh, there are n number of I mean text functions and I would also tell you that go to my website excelvblover.com and there uh, you can go ahead and watch uh, my couple of demo videos which I provide online to my students and they are the recorded videos for you so go here and uh, in this uh, excel you know video tutorial you will see all these videos so maybe you can check this video it's a uh, two hours of video discussion on mid right left and we look up it will tell you it will help you a lot uh, you know when you actually deal with these kind of a situations but in this video I will dedicate this video uh, you know uh, to my subscriber who has actually sent out me this and we'll discuss this so let me just first take this this thing if you if you get to know what exactly is happening behind curtains uh, you will be able to build all the rest of the functions very easily so now you can see here we have the trim mid substitute reptile function a find function so if well, now I'm not sure whether you guys are aware of these functions or not so let me quickly first of all uh, build the function here let me explain you on the individual level and I will be a little quick here so let's first th uh, think, uh, th see that what exactly this substitute does so if I'm going to write here something let's say Ajay Kumar now if I want to replace this Ajay by let's say some other name AJ or ABC what I will do I will write the substitute in this text I will select this old text which is going to be Ajay and then it has to be replaced let's say by ABC and then instance number that how many Ajay I want to replace whether I want to replace the first or the second in case we don't have any uh, second Ajay so I'll just close this and this will be re replaced as you can see here right let me just little uh, zoom out this now if I would have got here let's say Ajay Kumar and then again Ajay you see that this is going to replace all the Ajay right but in in this scenario where I had left this last instance number if I would have put here 2 then what would happen then it will go to the second Ajay it will skip the first Ajay so uh, you, you see here that now it's Ajay Kumar ABC so that's the function which uh, is optional and it depends upon the requirement in this case we don't need this instance number so because we want this to be replaced for all Ajay who are appearing in our cell and so we'll use this without any parameter this is the substitute function uh, we have a find function as well uh, find function does what find actually finds uh, the you know the position for example in your case over here you have let's say uh, this now you want to find the position of the at the rate so go to the find function and write here at the rate and select this and save one and you'll get the position of the at the rate similarly we have the reptile function now reptile function is a very nice uh, actually function it is used generally to uh, give a kind of a graphical uh, uh, views you know for example I say that reptile repeat this function and let's say the question mark I want this question mark to be repeated let's say four times so I'll write here maybe five times I'll write here five and see this question mark is going to be repeated five times I can make any even a line graph this is the one I will make uh, which is your the next uh, key to your enter just above your enter key now keyboard may differ but uh, this is the key generally which is on the your slash y use the shift and you'll get this right so uh, let me just put it within this quotes sorry this would be 5 over here and this would be this line so you can get this similarly if you try to insert a space you can do that now you can't see that space because it's a space right but if you check the length of this function you'll see that we have a value here right this is what actually this person has used here right so uh, that's the reptile function for you and uh, I guess we're good to go then we have a mid function as well uh, now mid function go and watch uh, that demo video you will come to know what exactly mid does mid actually allows you to start your calculation from somewhere for example if I say in the mid function in this text start your calculation from let's say 2 and thereafter give me 3 values number of characters 3 characters so it will start from j and j a y it will give you j a y so that's the mid function and trim as what it does it removes the space for example if I have a space and a j and then space then trim will remove all the spaces now you will not be able to see this because there is a formula the moment I do control the space special the paste value you see that there is no space now here so here if you check the length of this a j we'll see it's 4 and here if you check the length of this Ajay it is going to be 10 so, so there's a huge difference so trim removes the trailing and leading 
spaces now let's uh, you know let's come to the point what exactly is happening here in this formula right i can let me just remove the equals to from here this is the formula and let me just expand this right so that you can focus on this now i'll go the step by step and i'll show you what exactly is happening and i'll show you in a different way which will you know help you now for example here i am writing an email id let's say ab space aj a y at the rate yahoo.com and you have a list some sort of this list so first thing you know, in your email id you see that you don't have a really you know uh, characters more than 15 or maybe 20 at the max right so 20 is the limit of any email id whether it's a ready for whether it's a aol.com is outlook.com whatever i meant to say you know any email id yahoo.co.in 20 characters are sufficient for your requirement right in this case a person has used 255 so again that again depends like you know when you do the analysis on your table how many email, how big your email id can go i'm going to do this with the 20 characters so the plan is so guys the plan is to actually you know involve couple of stuff here couple of things over here in these spaces so that we can increase it and i'll tell you why first of all understand this function what i'm going to do is i'm going to say substitute in this text what is my old text my space and what is my new text now my new text would be let's say we want uh uh maybe lines right so i'll use this reptile now i want this let's say 20 times so no price for guesses because it's quite easy your spaces will have now these 20 lines so i'm writing here 20 okay so maybe i can say lines are 20 here right now see the point is if i insert something over here after the email because we may have another number or text after the email see that this will also again be created because this is what you are doing you are replacing all the spaces here i'm not using any instance parameter it's left blank it's a optional one because i want to replace all the spaces so this is what it is going to do right now see the idea is what exactly he is doing he is in this formula you see that this function find at the rate i'm going to build this function for you right so what is happening is we are going to find the position of the at the rate in this in this value after substituting it what is the benefit you may ask me see the point is if you are going to insert 20 lines before this and 20 lines after this it means total lines would be 40 right in order to ensure that your the text which is before these lines and after that you know this line you have to tell excel you have to use a formula which can give you an option to start from somewhere and can you know it can end somewhere so what we will do is we'll start somewhere from anywhere from the mid of these line graphs in these uh, from these lines and we'll tell that go to the last line before it finds any other text right in this way you can extract it so what i will tell is i will first of all find the position of the at the rate so i'll find the position of the at the rate okay in this text start number has to be 1 now you see that i have 27 so at the rate comes at 27 now guys pay attention to this what i'm going to say 20 lines you have created before this email id 20 lines you have created after this you know email id so that means 20 plus 20 will make 40 but including your email id this will always be greater than 40 right so even if you would have created let's say here 40 lines in this formula instead of 20 if i would have used 40 then that means total 80 80 lines but overall you are including the email id and the lines it would make 80 plus right so that's why what we are going to do is we are going to use the mid function here in the mid function we'll select this text and we'll say that now this is very important parameter from where to start now you do not know that from where this a starts which is a part of your email but you know that at the rate is at the 20th position uh, not the 20th i uh, but at the 27th position right 
So what I'm going to do is when I'm going to use this mid function in this text, I will say that your start point should be 27 minus 20. Reason? Because see then what will happen? Your email ID will have some you know text. That's for sure. It's not it cannot be zero. So what I'm exactly doing is I'm saying that if I subtract this 20, these 20 lines from this at the rate, then obviously my cursor would be somewhere here between these lines and I will never be touching this AB. That's the point, right? Now 27 minus 20 will give you what? If I subtract this from this, 27 minus 20 will give you 7, which means it the calculation will start from the seventh character for the mid because you are putting in this start number parameter. So after a b, a is on the first, b is on the second, and then third, four, five, six. So it is on somewhere on the line, right? And that's the point. That's the that that's our aim. We want to skip this a b, right? We don't really matter right now. That let it be any line, but we want to start after a b, right? So that's why we will we are going to subtract this. Now the next question which is again very important very tricky how many characters do you actually want well I want my complete email ID but ensuring that BC should not be included. So how will you achieve that now you know that you have created 20 lines before this and 20 lines afterwards so in case what does that mean that means that if I add here 40 that these are the characters I need your email will be covered in that why because for 20 lines are here 20 line are, you know lines are here and then in addition to that you have some you know text over here as well which is a part of your email so it is obviously going to be 40 plus something right so when you're going to start from here from the seventh position you say that I want to go to the 40 because when you're going to cover the 40 characters it will definitely be before this BC it will never to reach it will never reach to this B why because before B you have already have 20 lines here and the 20 lines here and then you have some text over here so this is a kind of a cover you know we are covering this gap right we are we are actually telling Excel that look you have to start you find the position of the other rate then just subtract you know uh, these lines from this at the rate and then somewhere here you will come and then start your search and then go to the 20 plus 20 because 40 lines are here so including this uh, some of the text over here definitely it will ensure that the next alphabet which is BC which is B it is not going to be touched at all now see what will happen do you see this that's amazing right now you see that after this dot com I'm not getting here 20 lines here I have the 20 lines why because Ajay at the yahoo.com this is also taking some extra space for your text which you have written here 40 in this 40 ajay at the rate yahoo.com whatever the numbers 8 or 9 characters it is also taking right so that's why you're getting this kind of a output now the benefit of this is that this is going to be safe now if I insert another thing over here see it is going to be inserted here because you are substituting all the spaces but it will never come here reason being because you have said that I need just need the 40 characters so it will be covered within these two lines only right so two parts very important one is from where to start and tell you know which character you want to cover so from where to start you find the position of the at the rate and then subtract these lines whatever the lines you have created like 20 lines you have created subtract that it will ensure that you know your start will uh, start you know your this actually uh, this mid function will start your number from somewhere in you know um, between these lines it will never uh, touch your a and b character right for example if I delete this and if after a b let's say let me create something uh, this H G G H maybe and space see what will happen you have here now H G I I and 20 lines are created here 20 lines are created again here so every space actually is having 20 lines but now what you are saying you are saying that now 20 lines before your email ID 20 lines again before your email ID which means that you have overall 
more than 40 lines which can be covered so within the 40 lines your email id will be covered so that's what i'm doing here what i'm saying i'm saying that subtract you know this 51 which is my at the rate position starting from a subtract 20 lines from that and obviously then it will move back and while it is you know coming back it will fall somewhere in these lines it will never touch h g g i right and then once it starts from this line now you want to cover all the lines still here so you know that these are the 20 and these are the 20 so if I, even if i say 40 it will never touch b because you have some more text here and that will be covered that will help us not only just to extract the email id but also you know ensuring that i'll not re uh, touch this B part so this is what exactly is done here right now you see this trim function at the end the trim is used because in your formula you have used actually a space here the substitute space in my formula I have not used space but I have replaced them with the this line so what I can do is I can come here and I can again use the substitute instead of the trim function and I'll say in this text what is my old text this is my old text and I want this to be replaced with nothing and for all so I will not write an instance number and this is how I will get my email ID right so if I do it by your way uh, so which means that you want to create a space like this press enter this is how the spaces are created and then over here the same result will come now this has spaces so what I have to do is I have to use the trim for this and you'll get your value so that depends what you exactly want to do right I hope this makes a uh, lot of sense so that's why you see uh, in your formula you have used 510 which is the double of 255 this is what exactly I was talking about that when you use this function you use the double of this 20 I have used 20 here so let me just uh, put this back to this line so that you can see because spaces I mean it's good to use in the formula but to from the explanatory perspective from the explanatory side I think we should actually use this yeah so why have used this 40 because as I already explained you 40 means obviously it will cover your email ID and it will also you know ensure that you should not be on the second text which is in this case B so it will your cursor will move around within these values within these cursors within these lines fr somewhere from here and then covering the email ID in somewhere till here right it will never go to the B because you have clearly said that the limit has to be only 40 I just need the 40 characters so 40 characters means you have already created two lines after this 20 and before this 20 so 20 20 ma makes 40 and then afterwards you have some email ID as well so while calculating this these uh, nine seven characters will also be added so your search will end somewhere here somewhere here in these cursors right it will not go uh, cover all these rest of the lines which we in fact do not even require that is what actually they have done now in your formula I also see one thing which is a very good thing very nice thought that you have created this you have concatenated this a 62 with the space and then have used now why you have done that in order to achieve these kind of a results where you don't have any space now for example guys if I do this what do you think what will be the result you will get the error now you would ask me why error it's quite simple look at this what this function is doing this is removing the space with this sign line but we don't have any space here so that's fine it has given us the value back but when you come here and when you use this mid function what do you do in this parameter start number you say that first you find the position of the at the rate which is on the fifth and thereafter you are subtracting 5 minus 20 now 5 minus 20 will not make any sense why because your length is not even 20 characters so it will go in the negative direction 5 minus 20 will make minus 15 minus 15 cannot work in the mid function because start number can't be negative right so that's why what he did is he thought in order to you know sort out these kind of issues where you don't have any space why don't we artificially go ahead and you know create the space so that this 5 minus 20 this will never be negative right 
so what he did is he said over here or maybe i can show you here he said that let me first create this space and then add this for all the things for all the functions then what will happen now you have a space here which means it is exactly the same like this if i do this manually let me create the space here since i have used i'm using this direct function over here so that's why i'm creating this so once you will have the space here and this what does that mean that means these lines will be created when these lines are going to be created ultimately your position of at the rate will always be greater than your lines and 25 minus 20 will always give you what a positive number which can later be passed on to this mid now you can see here very clearly what we are doing we are seeing that start from 25 minus 20 which means that it is going to start from the fifth so the moment it is going to start from the fifth it will catch it will pick the fifth line in excluding the fourth one and then it will move forward and thereafter we are saying pick up the 40 characters now after this dot com we don't have any lines but that does not make any you know difference it's okay if there is no character that's that's fine that's exactly is our motive you know we just want the email id so it is actually coming like this right so that's how this is uh, you know you can build this formula and then you can uh, drag this formula you can make this formula as as a one formula and then can drag this down and this will work for you this is the science which is actually being used in this function right so first of all what is happening the see i think the most important point is to understand that why we are creating these lines in your case it is of course space as you can see here why what is the need of this the need because we want to work on every kind of a cell so what we are doing is we are creating the spaces for example in this case if i have a space here and say jh and then again space kk and then again space ll see what is happening everything is now going to be bifurcated they are getting separated between these lines you know 20 lines now my motive is to find the at the rate because at the rate is a sign where my email id is i don't need anything so i am finding in this now at the rate and afterwards i am saying now start the search of this at the rate little you know before this a sign and how will you come to know that little before a sign obviously you will give this parameter 25 minus 20 so what will happen this is the at the rate position i am on the 25th position as you can see 20 lines you know before this ajay and then aja four characters 20 plus 4 makes 24 and then i'm on the 25th character so what i'm doing is i'm saying my mid my dear mid start your counting from the subtraction of this 25 minus 20 so eventually what will happen when it is going to start its counting from the fifth number because 25 minus 20 give you 5 so what will happen anything which is written before this ajay it will be skipped for example in this case if i write here jj you see jj it will definitely be skipped because you have already created the 20 lines before this and now what you are doing is you are saying that 47 minus 20 whatever the value comes just start from there so 47 minus 20 will ensure that the first character of jj will never be included and then the next question is now till which character we want to go so there what you will do you will say that i want 40 characters only because you know that 20 are bef after 20 are before that makes 40 and then including this the length which you have for ajay at yahoo.com definitely if you give the 40 buffer including these these numbers will also be eaten up right so definitely somewhere here your formula will stop the search will stop here because you have given them the 40 and it will never reach to this jh right and thereafter as i said if you are using the space you can trim as he has done here he has trim all the values here and then thereafter you know the formula is working uh, so we can use this substitute as we did in our this case substitute all the values right you can even do one thing just click on this cell and go to the formula tab and click here evaluate formula and start looking this what is happening here underline whatever you see underline that is going to be executed first click on the evaluate a63 will now be this 
you know shivani1979 at yahoo.co.in axy the entire content this is going to be concatenated with the space now this underline will be executed evaluate again so you have this now right now the next line is this reptile 250 times he has used this space so evaluate here now this will be the moment you press evaluate see this 20 times it is going to 255 5 times it is going to create a space so you can take this help evaluate and it will work step by step on all these you know uh formulas and this will also help you right so now the question comes i have used 20 here he has used 255 it doesn't really matter guys the only difference is if you are sure that your email id will not hold more than 20 characters in any situation then use 20 don't have to use 255 but if you have a data very inconsistent you really not sure you know then you can use 255 maybe 50 70 whatever you will use but the good point is the important point is there you'll have to use the double of that like in this case he has used the 510 why he has used the 510 so that 255 multiplied by 2 makes 510 so this will help you to cover this email id and also ensure that the second uh, you know your text which is in this case jh should not be touched right so uh, that's it for now i guess uh, i'll upload the your other formulas uh, little later and uh, i'll share those uh, things with you and thereafter i'll also upload my own videos and telling you that apart from this formula you can also prepare the vba code or maybe another excel formula right so i'll come to these functions little later but i guess uh, we can take a look on this function this is again this is what exactly it is doing the same thing what is doing is it is creating these you know the, in these spaces it is creating your this 255 spaces so what is happening is here in this function substitute in this text okay my new text uh, sorry my old text is space and what i want is new text is my let's say this one press this so now you see that here i have get got only one space but i have to convert this into number of lines so what i will do is in this parameter new text what i want to be you know replaced with i'll write here reptile and i use this let's say in this case i'll use just uh, maybe 15 or maybe 14 let it be right so this is how see the you know your entire cell is created let me drag this and let me just double click this this is what is exactly happening right now what you're doing is after doing this you're using the mid function like here it is used uh, in this case he has used the right function right function why he has used it uh, because you are actually uh, interested in extracting uh, you know everything from the right after the first space so in this example what is happening is uh, let me show you here uh, once you have created this space you are seeing that start from the right so what i'm doing is over here i say now right start going this text and how many characters do you want now right so from the right how many characters i want i want uh, the number of lines we have created uh, we have created 14 so i need the 28 lines and now let me just double click this now see this this is available to you not a big deal it's very simple right start from the right which means it will start from here the moment it will start from here it will cover all the points up to how many characters 28 now you know that you have already created 14 lines for every space which means if you have two spaces you will have 28 those lines and in that 28 lines you will have your text also covered so ultimately the first the you know the text which is before the first space it will never be touched it will never be approached that's the approach here you see here i'm not seeing lincoln here in any of the formula i'm not seeing here ajay right because this 28 will cover only these lines these 14 lines and these 14 lines and also these text so eventually what will happen if you see here ideally you should have got here let me just paste value this ideally before l n 4 you created the 40 lines but you can count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and so on right where are those 
rest of the 40 lines. The point is, when you start your search from the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on, till 28. So that's why this is the idea, to cover these texts as well. So six spaces, these one, three characters here and three characters here. These are these are also a part of those 28 characters. That's why it will ensure that, you know, it will never reach to this last character which is called N. This, this N. It will cover only these cells. And that's why in order to do this kind of a stylish thing, we have to create these lines. Right? In your case, again it is a space, so that's what he has done. Here, the created the space. And here again, if I copy this formula, here what is happening? This is what is happening. Let me drag this. So instead of the now lines, we have here the spaces. Let me drag this as well. This is what exactly happening, right? And now because we have a lot of spaces between the cells, so I will use the trim. So insert the another column and use the trim. Trim removes all the leading and the trailing spaces. Also between the cells as well, but it will keep one space as a standard. For example, if I write here Ajay and space 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 Kumar, if you use the trim, thinking that Ajay and Kumar will be together, you are wrong. It will it will still have a one space, but rest of the unwanted spaces will be covered, will be removed, and that's what it is exactly is happening here, right? So we have tried to give this solution in my demo video as well, which was recorded, I think. Um, 20 days back by me you can go there and you can watch that and then I'm sure w once you will be through with all those videos definitely it will help you a lot right so I'll explain the next part in my another video because this is an entirely different thing we'll have to see this right I know what is it is doing but I don't want to make this video long first you practice on this and of course please do share your comments what do you uh, you know think about this video how do you find this and of course a great question Thank you so much my dear subscriber and uh, keep coming up with great questions and keep us giving you know this kind of a great knowledge. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Alright guys. So I'll see you next time and uh, till then take care and very happy learning. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to start the online training you have my website. You have my number. Just go there and don't wait to ring. Thank you so much. Bye bye.